Hi folks, today we have a panel of a DVD and HDD video recorder brand JVC and model DR Score MH20SE. This panel uses a PT6315 driver to control the 12 grids VFDs. The control connection to bring it to life are the same as always. Uh, GND reference, data in, clock and strobe. We then have two pins destined to filaments, the driver power supply which in this case is plus 5 volts DC and final the network segments uh, voltage which I use it as a twen less 24 volts DC. The service manual uh, with the diagram is available on the web that helps with the hardware issues. Today we will try to highlight like the few lines of the code necessary to get the panel working again. This is a bottom view of this connector here and you can find the both pins of the power up the filaments after you have the less 24 volts DC these two points is our GND VSS after you have the plus 5 volts VDD a clock data in strobe and here you have also the data out um, you can join these two pins with a, um, a short because they already have a resistor to allow this here is the 12 grids of the VFD and I only mark one grid because they are always equal okay the pin 1 and the pin 2 belongs to this uh, predefined symbols and after you start with the number 3 7 11 16 12 8 14 and so on okay these two grids at the left uh, don't have the a 14 segment digit and uh, make use of the 16 uh, segments uh, to do it animation of the one wheel here and this is a symbols predefined this is the schematic of the panel present in the web in the page 37 you have the identification of the connector I have used it to implement the connections and uh, for example you can see here the suggestion to use less 29 volts to the negative voltage the, the filament voltage in these two points 3.5 volts um, they use DC, it is a funny sign. They suggest to using DC, okay, fine. Um, you have an external LED present in the pin 7, controlled by the transistor uh, present in the PCB. Uh, the clock uh, that in uh, G and D and so on, okay? This belongs to a lot of models uh, of JVC uh, equipment. And uh, this is a help if you don't want lost time uh, follow the, the, the ways with the multimeter. Here you have in face of the pinout of the PT6315 you, if you remember you have here the pins 
we always use the strobe clock that in uh, data out because this driver have also uh, data out um, four LEDs you can control we already focus this the GND here in this point the plus 5 volts here the less the 24 volts in this case I'm using 24 but is depending of the data sheet of the the, 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 the driver VSS VDD again and this is the pinout of the, the, the driver a description of the pins don't forget please this oscillator is very important because uh, the capacitor and the resistor uh, determine the, the internal frequency to refreshing the, the VFD and now we reach the, the, the most in important uh, part of the commands uh, responsible to control the, the display the command one define the, 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 the number of the grids will be used in this case if you remember we are using 12 digits or 12 grids with 16 segments and you see here the pin the, the value 1 the pin the bit 4 and the, the x to the remaining 3 digits because this is this is the, the date of the, the definition of the 12 digits se 16 segments this is a map of the bank of the RAM responsible to, to control the, 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 the segments of the display and uh, because you ha we are using 16 bits we'll fill these two bytes here okay the lower and the upper uh, from the bytes from each byte note the position starts at 0 0 3 0 6 0 9 12 15 and so on the result is uh, 12 grids is the maximum and uh, if you are using only for example 4 digits you have the possible to control 24 segments this is the command to define the mode operation of the, the, the VFD or driver of the VFD right to display mode the ports of the LEDs read keys is not relevant increment each bank of the memory every time write for example if I write 3 bytes at position 00, zero this means the next byte will be received will be keep it in the position in position 3 and so on okay every time you send 3 bytes it incre increment to the next position of the, the RAM it is the process to write the, the 4 pins of the LEDs I like remember this okay if you write when the lead is off if you write zero means the lead is on the common tree is the the, the address of the bank the run you need uh, split in the, in the two parts this is the first part of the digit and this is the second for example when you see 21 this means the bit 5 will be 1 bit 4 will be 0 0 0 0 and 1 because the bit 5 is the, the 8 of the bit 2 in this part and the, 
the B will be the the rate of bit of the bit of the value when at the, the the first part. If you see, for example, 23, this means the bit five will be one, zero, 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 one, one. Okay. The common quad, the common four. Sorry, is the the refreshing of the 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 VFD and uh, the bright of course and uh, if the display is on or off ok after you have the, the, the mapping of the message or fluxogram of the message uh, pay attention to the strobe this is very important for example you can see here uh, depending if you are having in incrementing uh, uh, running or not, you can write uh, a burst of bytes or byte by byte. Okay. This is our code. Uh, of course, this is a basic example. Okay, you can optimize. Um, the definition of the pin eight as a data in of the panel. Uh, pin nine as a clock. Pin ten as a strop. After you will find the the, the, the map um, to um, represent the digits from zero to nine uh, and the empty in display, you can search uh, or you can call each position of the the digit, calling the 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 the, the, f the number of the byte. Okay, will be zero, will be three will be uh, 6 and so on ok after you have the most important thing related to the initialization of the PT6315 we need um, implement a, a delay to secure a correct initialization of the, the, the PT 6315 after the power up, okay? After we define the, the number of the grids, um, the, the, the bit responsible to, to define the 12 grids is the, the bit number 4. Uh, and if you see in the data sheet, they refer the, the these three bits can be 0 or 1. Don't matter because the important is bit 4, okay? After we have the the definition of the, the operation mode of the driver, in this case, uh, I implement uh, or increment uh, the position of the RAM after uh, each write in, in the, the, the byte specific, and uh, also implement as a normal operation. After you have the the, the position uh, or the counter of the byte in the branch RAM, in this case I define to start in uh, byte 00, will be incremented every time I make one write because you you define this in this this comment here. And the last, you have the control of the bright and the switch uh, on of the VFD. In this case, the bit uh, 4 is responsible to define on. And after the 3 bytes, uh, the 3 bits, sorry, uh, air to control the bright of the, the display. This is the most important f initialization of the, 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 the driver of the VFD. After you have a function uh, to send a byte with a strobe, another without strobe, um, is both here. We have a we have a test to to a function to do it a test of the VFD. And if you look here, you you can see the the command to define normal operation, the position zero of the bank RAM to write, and after. Uh, will send uh, 12 times this burst of the, the, the bits uh, in this case 3 bytes 
and you can see I feel um, the byte with digit 1 this represent all the, 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 the segments in the 12 grids will be bright okay the 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 definition of the the, the, the position where we will write is um, start in zero and after increment every time you you send this group of the bits After you have a comment to clear VFD, the rule is the same or the process is the same. You send three bytes to fill with 00, zero the its position of the bank RAM, starting 00. Zero and for this process, instead of the increment, I force the, 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 the position of the bank RAM with this count here. Okay, This N will take the value of 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, and so on, ok? The read buttons, uh, ok, is here, you can call it, but um, you, you need to uh, look to the code uh, to, to check it, and after we have a message to write uh, the, the word folks in the, the I folks in display you can see here I send a block to fill all the positions of the RAM with each digit in this case this is the first grid second grid sorry this is a uh, uh, yes is the first grid here the letter S second third and so on okay After you have the, the, the comment to make the animation of the wheels, you have these functions here. The send the numbers, okay, here you see I call the, the, the value in or the position of the array uh, and increment when to, to call the digit I want to write. Setup is not relevant, ok, mm, this is a very short, and in the loop you have the function that I call, ok, this is the animation of the wheels, this is the message folks, this is a loop to run this three times, here I clear the VFD, call the numbers in this position, and call the initialization the second time because the initialization is also definitely in setup. You can comment the line of the numbers or the the, the function you want to see the difference and okay, feel uh, the 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 loop how how you went. I let here is a small scroll of the, the the increment of the, the, the grids and the, the digit where you write. This is to read the buttons and so on. 